We are supposed to be the good guys. We are. Hello everyone, this is your good old neighbor Nick Kick, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2 fans that I was one year. And this is going to be a little different type of video. This is not your typical, a typical generic box office video I can see like a million times. No. Honestly guys, due to I've been busy, due to, um, due to I had to clean my room last night because my room right now won't, uh, look fancy as heck. Anyway, and due to, due to this... Due to this, news keep happening, happening, happening on Twitter's. And like I said, we have to make a video about it. Anyway, guys, so the first, um, so the first thing we're going to talk about, which is other than the news article about Frozen 3, a Frozen 3 update, a Frozen 3 update, which that will be a perfect to start off with my Frozen content. Right? Like, come on, it's called Nick Kick Spider Verse and Frozen Defense. That's one. Just give me a break. Anyway. On the guys, so on the guys, so the news we're gonna talk about for this week, which is now then Frozen 3 update. Uh, the Cars franchise is returning for more project, and the disaster Argument in the Wasp Kingdom, more like Argument in the Wasp Disaster box office. And last night, we we have to talk about the bash crash of the American Society Magical Nepo, which the bash crash is so freaking racist. Anyway, guys, so the first thing we're gonna start off, which is now then a Frozen, a, a Frozen 3 update. Anyway. I probably you guys are wondering, I'm probably you guys been um been living under the walk right now. Well on the guys, Bob Arco said that Frozen 3, Zootopia 2, and <coughs> Toy Story 5, excuse me about a car for a second, is officially on the walk. And I guess said I was so happy and that news is the best news I have ever heard in my entire life. Because on the guys, it can show us that Bob Arco and Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck and um and the score who did a Frozen movie in Wonder Vision or whatever you call it. Anyway, they really care about the Frozen movie. On the guys, it's amazing why right? they opened the Frozen win at Tokyo. At Tok I mean at to at Hong Kong, I'm gonna say. At Hong Kong, not Tokyo. Hong Kong, I'm gonna say. Anyway guys, so on the guys, we got some more news about Frozen 3. And I got a feeling that Frozen 3 would be first and then Zoop um and then Zoop Chibia 2. Anyway, so you guys, so after I heard that the producer say Frozen 3 will be amazing, it can show that he really care about Frozen movie. And he and he really care about Frozen 3. Because we got so much story to tell for Frozen movie. We got so so much story for Frozen 3. Like honestly guys, what is El I mean what is Anna's power will be or what Elsa girlfriend will be. And all the guys, what the crib panel will be. Because the Frozen 3 and 4 will be simple like two part. It's going to be two part. Just like Spider-Verse and all that. Anyway guys, and it can show that Disney did watch the Spider-Verse movie. And they said that just like the Spider-Verse movie. We're going to make a Frozen as a two part. Which I like that. I love that. I love that the idea. And I really hope. I really hope they don't cancel the the uh the couple which is Elsa X Hundred Million because honestly guys I'm probably I'm probably uh I probably they might cancel it because of the fantasy of Menace keep eat keep getting even stronger and stronger than ever which oh for goodness the fantasy of Menace come the fantasy of Menace is annoying the crap out of me anyway guys I am so looking forward to Frozen Three and I definitely agree with the producer yeah honestly guys Frozen Three will be amazing and can you please ignore what Troll Band Together fans has once said about Frozen Three Frozen Three uh, Frozen Three will not be like the feature shape movie but honestly guys that is so that is so and so and that is so disgusting when <coughs> when he said that Frozen Three will be like the feature shape of Disney please don't say that because that is disgusting comparison because honestly guys I gotta say it right now but Frozen Three will be the Lord of the Wing of Disney. Because on the guy I get a feeling that the Frozen movie, the Frozen 3 will be like two hours and the fours and Frozen 4 will be four I mean four three hours. That would be amazing. Because on the guys, if they want if they want to do a Frozen 3 as a two hour movie, just like Spider Verse, be my guess. But if they honestly if they do a four hours of Frozen 4 I will not get bored. I will be entertaining. I will be, I will be, I will be in a theater. I will be edge of my seat and I will stare at the screen for three hours straight, which 
Honestly, guys, <laughs> that would be the first, the first ever three-hour movie for Walt Disney Animation Studio. Please make that happen, Bob Arco. I'm a huge fan of your work. I'm a huge fan of Disney, and I'm a huge fan for the Frozen movie because Frozen Three will be at the Lord of the Wind of Disney. Anyway, guys, that was my thought on the Frozen Three. Producer said Frozen Three will be amazing, and I definitely agree. But Frozen Three is officially is my second most anticipated movie of all time. Sorry guys, so the next news we want to talk about, which is another the Cars franchise, we return for more projects. Do you remember the Cars franchise? On the other, the one franchise that people are getting sick of tired? Well, the Cars franchise is officially, is officially being on the work. Anyway guys, so after I heard, uh, on the, uh, on the guys, so after I heard that Pixar said that Cars franchise will return, will return for more projects. I got said, what kind of project? Uh, it's going to be a TV show, it's going to be short, it's going to be it's going to be prequel, or it's going to be a spinoff, I don't know. But I really hope it's not Cause 4. If they green white Cause 4, we're going to have a serious problem. Because, all you guys, oh my goodness, Pixar, what the heck are you doing to your franchise, man? I really hope, I really, I really hope this is a joke. I really hope this is a joke. Because I do not want to see, I do not want to see a Cause 4. Because first... First, we are getting Toy Story 5, and now we're getting Cars 4. What kind of society we're living in, huh? And speaking of society, we're going to get to the one best question in a minute. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I got answer, I got one question. Will is the Incredibles 2? Why are you not going right like that? We need Incredibles 3. Hashtag release Incredibles 3. I mean, no, 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 no. Hmm. Let's do something to it. Anyway, I got one question, Pixel. Will the heck is the Incredibles why you're not green white in that hashtag green white incredible three? I do not want a Toy Story 5 cause for or even a bug vibe too. Anyway, guys, and yeah, sure, even um, and yeah, sure, even the bug vibe um, and yeah, sure, on the guys, and honestly, um, even the bug vibe um, a bug vibe is a guilty pleasure movie, but I didn't mean you're gonna make a sequel of it because uh, um, because honestly, guys, I do not want to see those. Three unnecessary sequel. That's the one franchise that used to be like, but now it's just milking the franchise. It's like the Ice Age franchise, and they are doing the same thing with the Toy Story franchise. Yeah, honestly, I am not looking forward to Toy Story Five. It would be the worst Pixar movie I have seen in my life since The Good Dinosaur, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that was my thought on Cars franchise will return for more project. But on the guys, at the same time, I am so happy because on the guys, I'm part of my brother Chris will be happy about this news because on the guy that is his favorite film of all time because here's a one movie. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm um, sorry. Excuse me. Anyway, here's a one movie. Here's a one movie that Chris like. What's another name? The Cars. Not Cars two. Not Cars three. Cars one. Because on the guys, I am so. On the guys, ah. Uh... On the guys, at first I was so looking forward to this project, but at the same time I am so worried because they are seriously going to milk this franchise. It's right, the Toy Story franchise. Pixel, get yourself together, please. Green White, Incredible Story. Hashtag Green White, Incredible Story. Anyway, guys, and anyway, on the guys, just type in the comments section that you said that you hashtag Green White, Incredible Story because Incredible Story needs to be Green White before it's too late. Anyway, so the another news we're going to talk about, and this is going to be another box office video, which is other than the Aquaman and the Lost Disaster box office. Holy crap. Warner Brothers, Emma Tud, and the CEO from Twitter is, what the heck? Oh my goodness, what the heck you just done to a Jason Momoa movie? I feel bad for Jason Momoa because Jason Momoa was trying his best, was trying his whole best to make this film to be, um, to be like the first film. But ain't wrong, Warner Brothers, um, Warner Brothers, and Emma Tud, or even CEO from Twitter is, was evolving for this, and they uh, screwed this movie up big time. Yo, Warner Brothers, you better be ashamed of yourself because this is not the right way to celebrate 100 years of Warner Brothers. Wonka is 100 times better than Aquaman and the Watch Disaster. Anyway, Aquaman and the Watch Kingdom cost $120 million at the worldwide box office. The movie have an, an in total $205 million budget. That is disaster. That is bad. It will be the end of of Warner Brothers. They will be the terrible end of Warner Brothers. Because, on the guys, this, I mean, this box office make the Marvel box office work like, <clears throat> work like go to Phenomenon, then Aquaman and the Watch Kingdom. And let's face it, uh, <laughs> on the guys, the Marvel did pretty bad at the box office. One of the lowest grossing MCU movie ever. 
even I'm defending a movie, but just because you're defending a movie doesn't mean box office will agree with you. I know that sucks, but that's how it is. Anyway, and this box office, this box office made Disney Wish look like go to Phenomenon than Augman the Wasp Kingdom. Anyway, guys, and this box office make Magrishan look like decent box office movies. To be honest, and yeah, I'm probably Luigi Gimme would be mad about, oh, I'm sorry, we'd be kind of mad about this because, honestly, guys, Magrishan did pretty bad at the box office. It is, honestly, guys, it's one of the, it's one of the worst Rumination performers at the box office because it did pretty bad at the box office. So, yeah, guys. Anyway, guys, and honestly, guys, I am not surprised about this because this is embarrassing. This is bad, man. This is, this is really bad. This is really disaster because this box office even wasn't the Suicide Squad that came out in 2021 box office, darn it. Anyway, guys, and honestly, guys, what's not... Honestly, guys, let's not blame on Jason Amora. Let's not blame on Jane Wan. Let's not blame on Patrick Wilson. Let's not... Honestly, guys, let's, let's not definitely blame um, Nicole Kidman and the actor of Black Mentor. Let's blame on Warner Brothers. Let's blame Matt the CEO from Twitter. And we're definitely going to blame Emma Tud because I cannot believe why Warner Brothers decided they're going to keep Emma Tud in Aquaman 2. And honestly, guys, do you honestly think? Do you honestly think you're going to get a less screen time of Emma Tud? So after I heard the news, she's going to get a ton of screen time. Such a wild piece of the crap. Anyway, guys, that was my box office, the Watch Kingdom box office video. Bottom line is, this is embarrassing, and all the guys, and this is a terrible end to the DCEU. So the last news we're going to talk about, and this is really getting on my nerve, and I just want Wolf Beater to cut this out. Which is nothing than the bad scratch of the movie is coming up next year's. Which is nothing than the American Society. I mean, magical Nico. I got said, this bash grass is racist. This bash grass is racist as crap because this is not the world of the rain, rain the power bash grass. Oh, no, 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 no. This bash grass is even worse than the rain the power bash grass because this bash, this bash grass make the rain the power bash grass look like, look like guilty pleasure bash grass than the other bash grass of this. Honestly, guys, uh, 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 honestly, guys, I anyway, know it didn't make no sense, but should see what did. Anyway. Woke media, can you please call away to travel come back again? Because this is really getting on my nerve. I'm sick and tired of these woke media. Honestly, guys, all these woke media, oh my goodness, this woke media make me want to, <laughs> make me want to fist bum and go, oh my goodness, go away, woke media, I don't want to see you again. Anyway, guys, honestly, guys, I'm probably been living under the walk right now because there was a movie called The American Society of, of Magical Decode. Because all the guys, when when the trailer came out, it would have all the guys. Some of the people like it, but here's a lot of people dislike it. It's because of the fact that this film is racist. Oh no, this is 2023, not 1950s. Anyway, guys, I cannot believe why people are saying to themselves, "OMG, this film is racist." It's because this film has some black people, black people just like the Wayne of Power. Oh, but go ahead. Going off topic, going off topic much? How this film races? How this film races? And all the guys, if you said, if you say this film is going to be bad, uh, it's because this film has some all black people. And can show that this society, honestly, guys, I'm not saying this film is racist. No, I'm talking about society. Anyway, guys, it can show that this society is completely racist as Crap, this is 2023. This is 2024, not 1950s. Get over it. Because honestly, guys, I am completely done with the woke media. Because my next year, my New Year's revolution, I will never, I will never speak with the woke media. And yeah, sure, I'm going to make a video about it. But honestly, I have to do it because this woke media is so annoying. It's so generic. It's so cliche. They keep doing it every, 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 every single year. And I'm getting sick of it. Anyway, guys, that was my honestly, guys, that was my video's news of the bad scratch of the American Society of the Magical Deep Code and the Aquaman and the Wasp Kingdom Bas I mean, box office video. Cause franchise is returning for more project. And last but not least, the Frozen 3 update. Anyway, guys, so tell me about these news on the comment section below. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this magical video, well, instead of Aquaman 2 box office, because Aquaman, <laughs> honestly, guys, I'm part on Christmas Day. Yeah, honestly, guys, I'm part Aquaman 2. Got a whole, um, got a whole lump of coal. 
Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this, please, I highly recommend you to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification, and share the video with your whole family. Honestly, guys, so honestly, guys, if any news you want me to do, and honestly, guys, I might work on on Twitter's, and then, and then I will make a video about it. And honestly, guys, even, um, honestly, guys, even Twitter is toxic, but the main reason why I get on Twitter is because, number one, I like working at some fan art, and number two, I just, I just like working at, um, working at the news article, because I want to be like a news reporter someday in this YouTube channel. That's my New Year's revolution. That's my New Year's revolution. So I really hope you guys will be signing up for that. I mean, signing in for that. I'm about that. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And maybe, uh, honestly, maybe I will do a movie review on the EWAT Thanksgiving. Which I might watch it tonight on my phone. Because I'm not a... Because honestly, guys, there was no way in the white mind that I'm going to go down my movie theater room and watch it. Because honestly, guys, in your show, I'm going to be down in my movie theater room next show. Because I'm going to be watching The Hunger Game. And honestly, guys, instead, I'm going to watch a six-hour cowboy movie. I do not want to see a six-hour cowboy movie. In your show, I watch movie one hour and two hour and three hour or even four hour, just like the Snyder Cut. But honestly, guys, I do not... Honestly, guys, I do not want to watch movie for five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight... eight uh, eight hours, nine hours, and definitely not, <coughs> and definitely darn not ten hours. That is too much. Anyway, have a great day, everyone, and I see you guys next time. And once again, yadios.